Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of the Inform Makeup Maven's V Review Series. Today I'm going to be talking about one of Rimmel's newest mascaras. This was recently launched in Australia and in the UK and this particular mascara is a dial a lash type mascara where you can adjust the intensity so it has three in one three in one effects it's one mascara that creates three different looks and it has three different grades one two and three if i can just spin it around um, in terms of the type of volume that you want to fill so let's take a look what's underneath the cap and um, see how this mascara works okay so first of all I've dialed the mascara volume down to one so I've aligned the number one with the little square that indicates the volume shift and as you can see the half of the tube is actually wound up so this actually controls how much volume uh, how much mascara gets deposited on the brush Taking a look at the brush after dialing to one, we don't have so much mascara put on there and so this intensity will give you just slight elongation and minimal volume. Now let's have a look what happens when we dial it up to two. So as we can see here I've dialed it up to two and the half of the tube has actually gone down a little bit more. And so what we can see in the brush here in view is that there's a little bit more deposited. Now after we dial it up to three, let's take a look. Okay, what so here we are at dialing it to three and the mascara tube is actually as a whole. And as we can see here in view, we've got quite a bit of mascara deposited here and this actual setting will give you the maximum volume. So what you can achieve, what you can expect to see with number three, you can expect to see fatter lashes and a lot more mascara being deposited on the lashes. Now, the mascara itself is actually quite good. The lash building formulation is quite, um, can, it's actually quite smooth and it glides on after each coat. So what I've found with mis Rimmel mascaras in particular is that they do build volume really well. Just takes a little bit of work, but um, the consistency of the mascaras do allow for even bit building and less of a spidery lash effects and clumping, which is really great. Now, as you can see at the tip of the brush here, we've got quite a densely pigmented mascara formulation as you can see there and what's really good about this is it also doubles up as a liquid liner as well simply take a fine synthetic um, liner brush to the tip there and just apply it as you would gel uh, no, a, ge a normal gel liner or a um, liquid liner can't seem to talk here so overall this mascara does a really great job achieving different effects that you desire whether you set it to one to have an everyday type of um, lengthening and volume effect or whether you have it at three to build really dramatic and false lash effect type mascara in terms of flaking smudging and smearing I found that this mascara did really well not to do any of that stuff and for contact lens users I've been using this one as well I don't find it irritates my lashes and at the end of the day it's actually quite easy to remove which is always a bonus especially when you're using volumizing mascaras overall I give this a 5 out of 5 because of its ability to customize the type of build that you want with the mascara and that it also lasts and doesn't flake, smear, smudge or um, irritate my eyes. So thanks again for tuning in to the Inform Makeup Maven and I'm signing out.